So with the theatrical release of Alita Battle Angel coming to a close, I really wanted to make this video. Now over the past few weeks, I've made videos on everything from the comic to the trailers to the actual movie itself, you know, to the potential of a sequel and even the possible sale of DVDs. But today I wanted to make a video on something else, something equally as impressive as the movie itself, and that is the intense fandom that this movie has created over the past few weeks. So as we all know, during the release of the Alito Battle Angel movie, I think we could all comfortably say that this movie really didn't get a break. Right, I mean, it got pushed back to a season which wasn't particularly a popular season for movies. And when it did finally release, everything from the initial critic scores of 39% in Rotten Tomatoes to the critics going very bold and coming out and predicting that not only was this going to be a failure of a movie, but a box office major bomb of a movie to the people going out of their way to talk about how creepy this movie was due to the giant eyes of the protagonist. So right from the start, this movie was going to have a tremendous uphill battle to get to any form of success. And the possibility of succeeding was surprisingly small due to the extreme negativity from the community. And yet despite all the intense negativity from the professional community, what was surprising was there was a growing number of people who started voicing how much they liked the movie, a growing fandom. And what was interesting is as this fandom grew and voiced how much they liked the movie, the negativity from the professional community actually grew to say, no, this is wrong. You know, the people who are saying that they like the movie are wrong to the point of saying that they were not really fans, they were trolls, right? And that continued to create a negativity and an uphill battle for the movie. And yet as this negativity kept on growing, the actual fans' voices also grew to voice just how much they actually liked this movie despite all the negative messages that were saying that these people were wrong. And as a creator of YouTube videos, I was fortunate enough to get to see firsthand just how passionate and caring and well thought out the fans were with regards to the comments that they left behind in my videos. These weren't just comments of, oh, Alita Battle Angel was a good movie or go Alita go type of comments. They actually went into the depth of why they liked this movie, why they felt the main character was so heartening, how unique and different this movie was compared to the other movies that were out there, and explained and justified themselves on why they cared about this movie so much. And that was extremely heartening to see from somebody who liked the main story for such a long time and yet never really got a chance to talk to anybody about it for so many years now to see so many people appreciate the story that I really liked over the many years that I've read the comic. And in fact during one of my videos when I mentioned my concern with regards to the non-mainstream nature of this story being an obstacle to its popularity one of the commenters named Sayanur mentioned that this is probably not going to be the case and reassured me, you know, just by saying, look, look at the audience score versus the, you know, the professional critic score, how high the audience score is. And this is for a movie that doesn't have a brand recognition, that doesn't have, you know, anything to fall back on. Uh, to bias the people going in to watch the movie and yet the people who watch the movie objectively the good majority of them came out with a positive feeling and of course not only was this a positive feeling but the comments that you see from the people who were coming out were extremely positive to the point of being passionately positive and so if this was the feeling that was being generated by the 
audience, then I should feel comfortable that even if it is a non-mainstream nature of the story, that the audience was sophisticated enough to understand and recognize and appreciate that. And so I really wanted to thank many of you commenters with regards to a lot of these comments, such as the one that Sayanur made. So yes, Sayanur, if you're out there, thank you very much. Uh, your comments have been phenomenal in not only the number of comments that you brought out the passion of the comments that you brought out, but also the sophistication in understanding the story and bringing out different points of view, even if it were different than mine, that were well backed up and well thought of that made me feel like, wow, now that's an interesting twist that I should think about as well. And of course, equally heartening were the various forms of public uh, social media that was coming out. Everything from petitions showing just how much the fans supported this movie to the growing number of videos that were out there and of course the growing number of comments to these videos. And some of these comments, even if they were lighthearted, were very enjoyable and creative. I remember one commenter, I apologize that I don't remember this commenter's name, who said that their favorite scene was two hours long. And after laughing about it, I was like, yeah, I agree with that person. You know, and then of course, our very own star of Alien, who said, this may not be the best movie, but this is my favorite movie. And I had to agree with him as well. And so, yeah, I really like this growing number of kind of this community that's being created to support Elita Battle Angel. And even from the people who left comments in my video, they have their own YouTube channels. And so I'll leave a link to a lot of them. Uh, they include people like Star of Alien again, Enigma Seeker, Revan, RFD Channel, and Carbon Zero. And so yeah, I'll leave a link to those um, people. And if you have a chance, go take a look at their uh, videos they cover everything from you know various theories with regards to the story and its philosophy to how the box office uh, numbers are going to the most recent news with regards to the movie and of course recently we finally see the professional critics starting to say oh well maybe this uh, movie will get a uh, sequel as we always knew you know sort of deal which is very interesting you know I don't know if it's due to the fact that uh, they're finally you know changing their words just because the social community is starting to go that direction or it's because of the fact that now that the movie and the company is in Disney maybe Disney's telling them to change their word and promote it now you know, and these people are like, yes, sir, anything for you, sir, I'll kiss your feet, Disney, sort of deal that the professional critics do. I have no idea. Now I'm being sarcastic, so I apologize for that. But in any case, you know, at least whatever the professional critics do to flip their message around, I feel comfortable that the fans, the actual real fans of this movie and the story are going to continue to hold the line and make sure that uh, their feeling and their passion and their support for this movie and this entire franchise will continue to go. And so, yeah, that's what I wanted to make this video for. Yeah, I was amazed with the CG, the action, and I was very happy to see that the story was faithful to the main source material, but equally amazing was not the movie itself, but the support from the people like you who are watching this video, who supported the movie and went once, twice, three times, 12 times sometimes I've seen, you know, even more. It's pretty impressive what I've seen. And in the end, you know, no matter what happens to the future, you know, with regards to sequels, with regards to what Disney will do, with regards to what all the other studios may do, I think the producers of this movie 
should be proud, you know, whether it's James Cameron, Robert Rodriguez, Rosa Salazar, Christoph Waltz, Mahershala Ali, Jennifer Connelly, all those pe- everybody, all the way down to the lighting people, everybody should be proud that they made this movie that made so many people happy and appreciative of this movie. So good job to everybody who has worked on this movie and thank you to all the people who have supported this movie. And anyway, that's all I wanted to say for this video. And I'll continue to make the usual Alita Battle Angel videos in the future. And when I do, I hope you join me at that time. Thank you very much as always for all of your comments. And please keep on coming because I really learn a lot from your comments. And until the next video, happy movie watching, happy anime watching, happy comic reading, and as always, giant nice day everyone.